Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be setting up your awesome router. So let's get started. Here on the back, that's the main thing that you guys have to know, is to hook up right here, your AC adapter. So you're gonna start off with that. So to hook up your AC adapter, you're just gonna hook it up here on the back. So that's where you have to plug it in. And then we have to take a look at your modem. So what you guys wanna do is connect your modem right here, okay? So you do get an ethernet cable with this guy. So you can use that one, but you guys, if you have another one, sure, you can use that one to hook it up there. So again, from your modem, just hook it up here. So let's say you guys will be using the cable that came with your router, which is this ethernet cable. We're just gonna plug it in here, like so. And then this, right here, this other end, will go into our modem. So again, right here, it's for our modem. However, right here, you guys have these. Most likely, if you're a gamer, and that's why you bought one of these, this, this gaming one, you will be using at least one of these to hook it up to your PlayStation, maybe your Xbox, PC, whatever you guys have. So just use whatever Ethernet cable that you guys have already, or maybe you need to buy one, plug it in there, and that will go into your PlayStation, Xbox, computer, or whatever. You guys can do that afterwards though. First of all, what you guys need to do is just hook it up to your modem, okay? So make sure to do that first. So right now, that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, so just wanted to let you know that according to the instructions, you're supposed to only plug this into your modem and your modem, you have to disconnect it. I don't really see the point of you guys powering off your modem in order to connect your router, but that's what the instructions say. You have to hook this up first, okay? Make sure your modem's turned off so that means you unhook this from the wall. And then what you guys wanna do is, again, you hook this up to your modem. Once you do that, then and only then, and once your modem is fully turned on, now you have to plug it back in, make sure it's turned on. And then you guys can go ahead, plug this in and turn it on. However, although that's not a bad thing to do, I don't see it necessary. So if you guys wanna just hook it up right away, do it right away, and now we're gonna download the app. All right, so my own setup, it's harder to show you, but the buttons in the back, so I'm just gonna power this on. And you guys should see when it powers on, this light should go on, okay? So just let those lights go on, all right? So you guys will see something like so. And now we can go on and download the app. So I'm gonna show you how to download the app and set this up right this second. And right before we go into the app, so I'm gonna show you that during the installation, you're gonna see this. So on the bottom of your router, you're gonna see this. So to connect up, you guys can just scan that. And here's all the information you're gonna need when you're installing this, okay? All right, so from whatever phone you guys have, just go into Asus router, look for that app. Sometimes it's not the very first one. You guys have to scroll down. I suggest always scrolling down because the first one's usually an app and it's maybe not the right one. The right one that you're looking for is this one. So look for something that looks like so. Then go ahead and press on get. Once you press on get, it's gonna download pretty fast because it's a really small app. So right now we need this in order to install the whole thing. So we're just gonna go on and open up the app. Here we go. Scroll down, tap on agree. I am above the age of 16 years old, tap on agree. Then we have to do the exact same thing again, tap on agree. And here we go. We're gonna get to set this up. So right now, we can just set up a new network. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Or we can manage a connected router. So what we have to do is set up a new network. So we're gonna tap on that. And then right here, it's gonna ask us, what are we doing? Right now we're doing an Asus Wi-Fi router. So that's the first one. If you guys have any other ones, then you would choose any other one from here. But in our case, it's the first one. Then you're gonna be scanning. So on the back of your router, you're gonna see something that you guys can scan with your camera and that's it. So that's gonna connect it up. So right now that's exactly what we're gonna do. So just uh, select the first option, enable camera and scan. So we're gonna go on and select that option, press on allow and here we go. We're just gonna go on and scan the QR code from the back of our router. Once you scan it, you're gonna see this. So just tap on join. From here, it's gonna tell you this. 
for your location, always allow. Then it's gonna take you here, detecting, searching for ACES router. Technically right now, it's gonna find it right away. So right here, it found it. So we can just go on and get started. Right here, it's gonna detect our internet connection status. So as long as you guys have the ethernet cable hooked up already, you're good to go. If you already hooked up, your, let's say your PlayStation, Xbox, computer, I would disconnect it. I would just have the ethernet cable hooked up to your modem. And that's it, that's the only cable that should be hooked up right now. And then it's gonna ask us to create our Wi-Fi network. So just do whatever name you guys want. So for me, this is gonna be Second Design VR, cause that's actually why I bought this. Then once you guys put in whatever network you guys want to create, so you guys can change this name later on, but it's better if you just choose one that you like, then your password, make sure it's at least good like mine. Then you guys can go ahead and tap on separate the 2.4 and five if you need to. I, uh, for most of you, you won't need to, but there are a lot of things out there, uh, especially cameras for some reason, security cameras that only work for 2.4. So it does make it easier for them to hook up if you have that enabled. Right now, I'm gonna leave it as is because most of you will be good not separating the two things. So we're gonna go into next. And right now we have to create our username, a password. I would do a different password than your password to hook up to your Wi-Fi. So just choose a different one if you want to. But anyways, right now we're just gonna put our username and then we're gonna put in your password, confirm our password and tap on next. Once you do so, it's just gonna set up your network. So now it's gonna apply everything and you are almost done. There's a lot of advanced settings that you guys can mess around with. However, we're just gonna deal with the most basic ones right now. I'm gonna show you a few other things as well. So right here, it's gonna tell you to update. Always update. Never say maybe later, do it right now. I know you guys may want your internet to work right away and skip that. However, these updates are pretty, pretty small. So never skip them, okay? Especially if this is your first time setting this up. All right, so once it's done with the update, it's gonna ask you this. You want to join? Yes, you want to join. Cause that's the network that you just made up. So right now it's gonna connect to your new Wi-Fi network and then it's gonna optimize it. Um, this is just part of the setup. Just let it do its thing. Right now, technically it's not doing that much because again, you're only gonna have this phone or tablet hooked up to it. All right, and then finally you're all done. Just press on finish. Once you tap on finish, you're gonna see this. Just enable, allow. And in this part, you guys don't have to enable this. You guys can definitely skip it. However, I suggest enabling it. So we're gonna do that. And then if you did do this, you guys can go on and continue with Google, Facebook, Apple, or other. If you click on other, you're gonna see Asus ID. So you quick create one if you don't have one already. There's WeChat as well and several others. However, again, if you really don't wanna do that, just go back and you change your mind. You can always go back, tap on that X and you're done. Okay, then from here, you're pretty much done with the whole setup. If you guys wanna check out more options, you guys can go on into settings on the bottom, right hand side, tap on settings. And under your settings, you're gonna see everything that you could ever want from VPN to connect with Alexa, for example, Google Assistant, and so many others. So you guys could hook this up in so many ways. Also, if you have any issues, the third option will see diagnostics. Go ahead and do that. So just in case, because we do run into problems once in a while. Again, if you go into your fourth option where it says diagnostics, whoops, I went to our one, diagnostics, you're gonna see this network. And that's where you guys see if everything's good. That's if you're running into any problems, you wanna do this. From there, you're gonna see gaming as well down here below. And you're gonna see all your options here as well. So let me just go back. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna show you for today because that's your basic stuff. You're all done. You're ready to go. Go ahead and enjoy this awesome router. And if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.